During the very first jail decongestion summit, President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. urged the judiciary to implement digitalization to expedite the country's justice system. Meanwhile, the president also emphasized the summit's goal of accelerating the processing of criminal cases. The details with Val Divini Russia. President Ferdinand Marcus Jr. encouraged members of the Justice Sector Coordinating Council or JSCC to continue streamlining and digitalizing their frontline and back-end services as part of nationwide decongestion efforts. The President's speech was delivered by Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin while Marcus remained in isolation after testing positive for COVID-19. In the message, President Marcus welcomed the JSCC's initiative to hold the National Jail Decongestion Summit in Manila on Wednesday. Marcus urged summit participants to develop innovative solutions and create a more modern justice system compared to traditional approaches in delivering justice. By embracing technology and innovative practices, we can enhance our efficiency, reduce delays, and ensure swift and fair legal proceedings. Marcus added that by implementing best practices from other countries, the Philippines can adopt innovative solutions to help address challenges faced by the justice system in the country. The president expressed confidence that discussions during the summit would lead to better policies and measures related to the justice system. Marcus also highlighted that the ongoing summit is a significant occasion aimed at decongesting prisons in the country and that this event also aims to expedite the processing of criminal cases heard in courts. The chief executive expressed confidence that the summit would generate effective policies from the concerned agencies. This gathering is most welcome as it demonstrates the commitment of the entire government to expedite the processing of criminal cases and to alleviate the chronic problem of jailed congestion. Indeed, it would require a whole of government approach to ensure the efficient, effective, and compassionate administration of justice in the country. President Marcos also emphasized his administration's commitment to support the collaborative efforts between the executive and judiciary, saying that justice will not be denied to every citizen in need. The Philippines' first national decongestion summit is titled Decongest and Reintegrate, a conference to unlock solutions to jail and prison overcrowding. The summit aims to bring together legal experts, government agencies, international organizations, and advocates. It focuses on plenary sessions and workshops related to jail decongestion efforts and the best practices of other countries. Efforts to decongest prisons nationwide include the annual recommendation of executive clemency for qualified inmates or persons deprived of liberty or PDLs. After the event, Supreme Court Chief Justice Alexander Hismundo, in an interview, talked about his expectations regarding the many reforms in the penal system and prison decongestion. Hismundo added that they expect these reforms to be implemented as soon as possible. Marami kaming ginagawa sa Supreme Court. Number one, for example, we are revising the rules on criminal procedure to ensure that criminal cases are processed expeditiously from the beginning of the case up to the end. Also, we're trying to use technology in our court processes also to ensure that the uh, processing of cases is uh, expedited. Justice Department Assistant Secretary and Spokesperson Miko Calvano shared some activities and strategies at the summit. These include reducing prison admissions, increasing releases when sentences are completed, and expanding prison facility capacities. Um, yung unang una dyan, yung decrease um, admissions. Is a, that's one of the sub points doing to decreasing admissions. Others, yung bail, uh, reduced bail amounts, yung higher threshold of uh, evidence required for preliminary investigation. But there are also long term activities that we are looking at. The summit continues until December 7. For God, my beloved country, the Philippines, this is Valdivina Gracia, SMNI News.